from position on your stomach is inherently dangerous. If it's not done properly, there is a high risk of you damaging your hip cartilage, the labrum. It's difficult to treat and it takes a long, long while to settle if in fact it does settle. However, if you're careful under good supervision, there is a safe way to do a frog position on your stomach and we've asked Marley to help us demonstrate that today. So Marley, thank you so much. I like my students to start with their forehead on their hands rather than propped up. So forehead on the hands, Marley, stomach in please and just bend your knees so you'll see Marley starting in parallel. Keeping the feet together, stomach on, hips firmly onto the floor. The minute the hips come off, you're not getting a turnout and stretch anymore, you may as well stop. So very gently drop out about halfway, just if you could stop there, Marley, please. Marley's got a lot more range of motion than this, but this is where most students will stop. Going forward from here, most students' hips will lift off the mat and you have lost the stretch that, that you are after. So the hips need to stay on the mat, the stomach needs to remain on for that functional pelvis position, and you are getting a turnout stretch in your hip very safely. Now, Marley can go a little bit further. I'll just ask him, stomach in very gently, very gently, yeah, and relax. So we can see from here, the hips are down. Molly obviously has exceptional range of turnout and not everyone will have that. So Molly, stomach in and just try to close up a little bit. Might be a little bit hard. Yeah, just sort of bring it back, but stay where Molly was initially to get a nice safe stretch in a frog position.